Everybody has issues with what to use when videotaping or going out there and vlogging and things like that. Today, I'm going to discuss three of the table tripods that I like and use. Maybe you will too. Do my life. Thank you for watching the video. If you notice, I'm wearing the same things because I try to kill all the videos in one, not one take, but in one weekend because I got so many things to do in the, in the, uh, throughout the week. I gotta try to space it out. So, but then again, I'm not that fashionable anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. We release videos three times a week, pretty much Peso Mondays expat wednesdays and product review fridays today is friday so welcome to the channel if you like it smash that like button and potentially subscribe more importantly comment down below so i know what you want uh, in the next video or any other thing you want me to review so you know let's get going i pretty much use three types of tripods the manfrotto table tripod the siru i still don't know how to pronounce it but i hope that's what it is and the MPOW, which my wife uses it more than my, myself. If you like any one of these iPod, uh, iPods, if you like any one of these table tripods, the links are gonna be down below for you to purchase. Full disclosure, I am an Amazon affiliate, so it'll help the channel out if you do purchase. Thank you. I'm always looking for like five things that I need for these things to do for it to be good for me. Maybe it'll be good for you. So these are the five things that I look for in any equipment, especially pertaining to holding a camera. Throughout the video, as I talk about the tripods, I will be throwing a plethora of video footage that I've been taking throughout the weeks with that particular uh, table tripod. And from there, you can be the judge of choosing what tripod you want. The problem with today is, the problem with today is that there's too many options. There's just too many options. Everything is swipe left, swipe right. There's just too many options. So with that said, I vlog a lot. This YouTube channel has been on for like five years. So I vlog a lot. So I've gone through many, many, many tripods, mobile tripods, uh, stabilizers, uh, right now gimbals and things like that. Number one for me is size. So you have to realize the bigger it is, the more cumbersome it's gonna be as far as packing it, putting it away. Uh, keeping it on you while you're walking around things like that So that I have to figure that in when it comes to having um, any type of gear two is durability as I said before this channel has been on for five years So durability is a very big thing with me because I don't want to keep buying the same exact thing or the same Exact product, you know and spend more money So sometimes I spend a little bit more money on something that I feel is of better quality Three is visibility. Even though I've been vlogging for a good number of years, I still feel kind of weird holding a camera in front of my face. The bigger the camera, the more attention you'll get. And honestly, I'm not, I don't really, I'm not big on catching attention, but I do still know, I do know that I still gotta get the shot. I wanna voice my opinion or voice or ex share my experience and stuff like that. But still to this day, Visibility is always a big thing with me like oh me carrying this or you know, whatever It's still in the back of my mind, you know, it, you know, it's still I know people live in their own world Most of the time they probably don't even notice you but in my brain subconsciously. I feel like everyone's staring at me That's the, that's the that's the catch-22 when you're vlogging, you know, what I'm saying so, you know visibility is important to me for Functionality like how much can I get out of it? Can I get action shots out of it? I mean when I say action shots not so much a camera, but holding the tri the table tripod is it you know not like the gorilla the gorilla grip ones or gorilla pod ones. Can I move around with it and to a degree still have it as a stable shot, you know, and things like that. A lot of things go in your brain when it comes to creativity. So everybody's different. So I try my I try my best to uh, look at it from how functional is this? Can I use it for this? Can I use it for that? And things like you know. 
so on and so forth. Like I said, there's there's a million ways to attack it. Those are one of the things that go in my brain when picking a uh, table tripod or a tripod in general. And last but not least, it's uh, like human error, right? The human error, like, is it dummy proof? Like, I'm not that smart. So hook up the camera or whatever and go. Let's just say, for instance, if I didn't screw it right, is it gonna fall off? A lot of things can go wrong, especially if you're clumsy. I'm a bit clumsy. So you have to realize like human error, trying to take out as much human error. So when you wanna share your experience and things like that you are able to do it without having to be like 10 steps and then the shot versus one step two steps the shots there and you get to share your experience because sometimes more often than not I always miss a shot I'm kind of reluctant to carry the gimbal around and because I have counterweights on it because I still got to get good audio I then have to put the phone on unless it's on ready and you know balance it out and then turn it on and there's like four or five steps on there unless I'm carrying the gimbal already But if it were to be like oh take my phone out slap it on and then boom or Even better just have the tripod on there already with a phone on there already and carry it and then Record and then go so the first one is going to be my man photo I forgot the model and everything the links gonna be down below concerning size this is pretty much the smallest one that I have and it can fit in your pocket anywhere very very well this is super durable this is by far my most recent purchase and my most favorite table tripod out of the bunch look it's super small it's maybe like my hand right there like the palm of my hand adjustment is crazy easy just one button right here so this is on a swivel as you can see the swivels right there right I'll go through some videos like like I, I said but generally speaking, this is the best for me that, that money can get right here. Uh, durable wise, it's been very durable for me. Dropped it a few times. Visibility, also uh, I give it a thumbs up on visibility because super small. Not so not so uh, blatant, uh, you know, obnoxiously big. Uh, if I put a DSLR in here, maybe, maybe. But because of that show profile for me, it's definitely, it's right there. If you put a GoPro on it, same thing, it's just super small. Uh, my type of speed, my most favorite at this present moment right now. Functionality, I use this with my Ulanzi uh, phone holder right here, but definitely, definitely because of that, what is that, three fourths? You can put a camera on here. I don't know, I don't know about DSLR, you can do it. You know, it's still short and stuff like that. Let me let me throw in a Ulanzi on there. Super simple. Let's put a phone on there. So with your, I'll put the link to the U Ulanzi uh, phone holder as well. It's right there. You're there already. You're you get you're getting your shot. If you got to move it around a little bit, you can adjust. You can adjust. You're good to go. It's pretty intuitive. You know, you get the stability out of there. You get some shots and everything like that. Forward, backward. You might have to double hand it. Get some stability on there. Make sure your arms are real nice and strong because uh, you know might get tired not like the gorilla the, the joby gorilla grip ones because you can wrap it around this one you can't but definitely speaking uh, i've done this on my steering wheel as you can see in some of the videos i i do get my shots out of this human error because it's one mechanical oh that's so oh, that's a new word mechanical button super easy you, you can't it's like, it's like, it's, this is like my type of this is my speed man one button swivel get the angle Get your shot, you're good to go. Almost impossible. The only human error you can make is pretty much if you did not screw it on properly here, which is kind of dummy proof because you would, be, I don't I don't know how you would miss that. And unless you blatantly just knock this off and, and kill, try to kill this thing, and you know, that would be stupid as well. So human error is just one button, man. Look at this, one button, swivel around, you're good to go. This by far is, is, is my favorite right at the moment right now. Okay, let's move on to the next one. My Siru, you can see that Siru, let me focus. So size wise, this can also fit in your pocket and be used as a baton to hit somebody. So <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, but, um, oh, well, seriously, you can if you wanted to, boom, you know. But technically, I mean, this right here, uh, you can put in your pocket. I don't, I wouldn't do it, but definitely in your backpack, it's still feasible to put it away as far as size wise you can see it's significantly taller 
than the Manfrotto, right? And it's um and compared to the uh Empow, it's just a little bit shorter. So right, so this is the Siru, the Manfrotto. So let me put small, medium, large, and then the the Empow. So it's right, it sits pretty much right in the middle. Now this one I've had for approximately about two going on three years. This one I like because the majority of it is metal, right? It's very sturdy. This I had to super glue because it was starting to come off. So I had to super glue that. And this I noticed starting to feel some type of way here. So I might have to put some WD-40 in here. But visibility, uh, it's, it's a bit discreet depending on what's on here. It's still small. It is kind of thick. Uh, then again, what do you guys think thickness wise? What do you guys? It seems similar to me when it comes to functionality It just this one takes a bit more time aside from being a table tripod You can it has a ball joint here where you can change the angle similar to the Manfrotto You got to tie it down from there. I don't know why they did this But there's an attachment here that you got to put see this comes with an attachment that goes on top of here right that locks in whatever you want to put on there. A, uh, a camera, I've put my DSLR on here, a phone, using it with a, a, a Ulanzi type of phone holder. It's, it, it can't compete with the Manfrotto. Obviously, you see all the steps I gotta take. Think about, think about this steps wise, right? I gotta put the unit on here, that's one. I gotta lock it in, that's two, right? To get the angle, to get the angle, I got to rotate it, whatever, that's three. And you're, you're, that's it, three steps versus um, one step. So that in itself might be troublesome for some. Uh, I had issues with it. I never use this, I, I don't know why, I, I never use this part right here. What I do like about it is that um, it extends. So to a degree, I can unscrew it here and I can extend it four inches. So. You got some type of extension there, uh, somewhere like a selfie situation there. I'm not big on selfies, so I I only use this when I put it on the table and I needed more height. So that's what I used it for. That right there is not a deal breaker compared to Manfrotto for me. Uh, the Manfrotto, yeah, you got to stack it up, but that's built for more, you know, walking around just doing the shots. This you can actually use for functionality wise for you know. If you don't have a tripod like I have here, you can use this and put it on the table, extend it and level it off to a degree. So that's one thing that um, it has one up on the Manfrotto if you're if you're into that. So this is how you this is how you pretty much unlock it. So you have that lock mechanism right there, lock, and then that oh you can then open it up and then you're good to go, propeller style. So as you can see. I use it for its its main purpose, so so definitely stretched out. If you're into the selfie, uh, if you're into getting longer, wider shots uh, to a degree, this might be for you. You got a total of like three or four here, another three here, seven to eight inches like that. So you know, so let's close it up. So the only good thing about this, like you want, you cannot close it without unlocking it. But as you can see, a bit more steps compared to the Manfrotto. Human error, I think a lot can go wrong in this one. Uh, a lot can go wrong in this one. If this isn't tight enough, it goes down. If this isn't tight enough, falls out. If this isn't locked, it's, it's gonna be a mistake. You're gonna have some mistakes there. If this gives away and um, you di I didn't glue it, you would have an issue stretching it out. A lot of human error can happen in this and ruin your shot pretty much or right, okay so it's up to you i it's still great i'm not gonna say it's bad it's still great there's just things that can go wrong this is the uh empow selfie table tripod and selfie it's more selfie stick so size wise three this is the tallest out of the three but like like i showed you before it stretches out a good degree so you're talking about this is this is a good degree right here when you're when you're doing the whole selfie thing off the bat a lot lighter it's more the majority of this is plastic i'm gonna say 99 percent of this is plastic it, this is durable plastic i believe it's durable it's, it seems more durable the majority of this is metal 
So durability wise, I don't think this is as durable, you know, you know, if I drop this in my chip and things like that compared to the other two, I would put this in the bottom when it comes to durability, just as sturdy as the rest. It's metal. Uh, won't bend unless you purposely pr break it this I can see it breaking the tab right here I can see it breaking if it's forcefully done or uh, fell off and things like that durability I'm not really confident on visibility almost the same thing very small you know it's nothing crazy well then again nothing's crazy compared to like a gorilla pod looking thing the, the gorilla grip Joe B one but this right here it's still discreet to a point, you know, unless somebody's really looking at you. That, that's the only time, you know, you'll be seen on it. Because of the LED light, that's a different story. You might be seen because of the LED light right up here, right? So, which goes into functionality. A lot of things can go, this this is Bluetooth enabled. You can hook, you can hook this up with your, your phone and take pictures with it. So, it's kind of buttonless. I mean, you don't have to deal with a phone. You can deal from here right right as you can see right there the difference about this this can move around so you got some functionality out of that right there this is your your tilt forward and backward i really i can probably just adjust it just a little bit functionality wise you can do it this way as well portrait mode which probably um, you can do it both ways it in that department functionality wise this is probably the most functional right most functional it extends, as I said before, for you to, you know, hit somebody. I'm joking. But, you know, this is even before we get into the table tripod part of the situation here. Great. I'm going to show you some shots of me doing some video. The LED light. Now, ha now it has three settings. So, it's like light, like bright, brighter, brightest type situation right here. So, you can do it by hitting this two times. There it is. So that is the light, like the bright setting. This is brighter, right? And this is the brightest. So I'm going to show you the video and I'm going to cut to that video real quick. So as you can see, there is some, I, I saw this in post edit. There is some difference when doing this shot. If um, having too much noise as you, you know, if, you, if you're concerned about noise and things like that, then this might be for you because you want the best shot possible for your unit or for your videos on the functionality this is probably the most functional from my point of view going to the tripod portion of it uh, very simple it's a uh, lock and unlock right here and you can see right there and it's just taking it down just like that and throwing it into lock and then you're in propeller mode good thing about this is when you're doing uh work or you want to do videos on a table and things like that check this out so this is a maximum this is the maximum of the serial now this is obviously you know who won in the measuring contest here you can't you, just, you can't beat it and uh, human error not as bad as this serial right here because uh from my point of view the only way you can really mess up in this situation is if let me see yeah, that is not tight, right? Because that, that'll fall over like that. Uh, if the phone is not good and tight in here, you can't really mess up on the, the LED. This might break because it is an electronic product. So, you know, you got some you got some type of uh, circuits and stuff like that that can go bad. So, uh, comment down below which one you guys prefer. Uh, Manfrotto, Siru, or this MPOW. My personal choice w would be Comment down below before I pull it out. My personal choice for size, durability, visibility, and human error, as well as functionality would have to be the Manfrotto. The, the Manfrotto for me is the better one. A close second would have to be the MPOW because of that light. That light is a, if you look at it this way, that light is a game changer if you're vlogging at night or in dark spaces. I don't, so I have the lights here and things like that, so I'm good. And when I'm vlogging outside, it's usually going to be in the daytime. So Manfrotto has to be, this is my guy right here. Short, simple. Other than that, that's pretty much it. That's my review on the table tripods that I prefer to use and maybe it can help you. The links are down below if you want to purchase it. There's always a right tool for the right situation. So with that said, thank you. Take care and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.